dear brothers and sisters in Christ today I would like to share my thoughts about two animals in the Bible the lamb and the wolf please turn with me to gospel according to st. Matthew 10th chapter verses 16 to 20 gospel according to st. Matthew 10th chapter verses 16 to 20 I am referring to the King James Version behold I send you forth as a sheep in the midst of wolves be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves but beware of men for they will deliver you up to the councils and they will scourge you in their synagogues and you shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake for a testimony against them and the Gentiles but when they deliver you up take no thought how or what you shall speak for it shall be given you in that same hour what you shall speak for it is not ye that speak but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you now let us refer to three people in the Bible let's start with Joseph if you look at the life of Joseph we feel as if he stands no chance he may have dreamt big but it looks as if bad luck follows him like a shadow he might have been the darling of his dad but that did not save him his brothers wanted to kill him it looks as if he is a constant failure let us look at the turn of events in his life please return to Genesis 37 Genesis 37 verses 23 to 25 so when Joseph came to his brothers they stripped him of his robe the ornate robe he was wearing and they took him and threw him into the cistern the cistern was empty there was no water in it as they sat down to eat their meal they looked up and saw a caravan of Ishmaelites coming from Gilead people who are jealous can go to any lengths the first murder in this universe took place due to jealousy Cain murdered Abel out of jealousy similarly Joseph's brothers planned to kill him one thing that really shocks me is the utter callousness or the cold-hearted nature of Joseph's brothers they sat down to eat after throwing Joseph in the pit how cruel how wicked jealousy makes people insensitive it leads them to the extent of being ruthless and barbarous they enjoy the suffering of people of whom they are jealous of compared to the other brothers Reuben and Judah were better Reuben wanted to later come and save Joseph and Judah convinced the other brothers not to kill Joseph let's refer to Genesis 37 26 Genesis 37 verse 26 Judah said to his brothers what will we gain if we kill our own brother and cover up his blood come let's sell him to the Ishmaelites and not lay our hands on him after all he is our brother our own flesh and blood his brothers agreed so we find Joseph sold as a slave and landing in Potiphar's house we know the story of how and why he landed in prison and was forgotten by those whom he helped but in the end 
the so-called rejected became the pillar of sustenance. God's design was to make him save the lives of thousands of people. Here, the hunted, the lamb, became the conservator of millions of lives. What about Moses? All of us have heard the story of Moses since our childhood. Moses was born to slave parents. Pharaoh had ordered that all male children born to Hebrew women should be killed. He ordered that all male children should be thrown into the river. No mother wants her child to die. So Moses' mother devised a plan. She prepared a waterproof basket and placed the child in it. At least, if not for weeks or months, he would survive for a few hours. We know that he was adopted by Pharaoh's daughter. He grew up in the palace, but circumstances forced him to flee from the Pharaoh's presence. He became the hunted. He worked as a shepherd for 40 years. As per God's instructions, when Moses and Aaron faced Pharaoh, Pharaoh could have very easily got Moses executed, but he could not. At that time in history, Pharaoh was perhaps the most powerful person in the whole world. He could have very easily got rid of Moses, but he could not. Let's refer to Exodus 7th chapter first verse. Exodus 7th chapter first verse and the Lord said unto Moses see I have made thee a God to Pharaoh and Aaron thy brother shall be thy prophet it looks as if Moses is at a disadvantage once again the hunted the lamb became the liberator the last person I would like to share with you or discuss the life of is David. In spite of being anointed by God to be the king, David was always on the run. Even though David did not do anything against Saul, Saul was always insecure. Jealous people are always insecure. He was jealous of David. He was afraid of David. He tried many ways to win David's favor. He got his daughter married to David. He tried many ways to kill David. Saul had an advantage over David. Saul was the king. He had army whereas David was just a shepherd. David's followers were a bunch of untrained people. They were not trained soldiers. But who was the final victor, the so-called disadvantaged, the fugitive, the lamb? Whether it was Moses, Joseph or David, they were the final victors in the world full of wolves because they listened to the Lord. They lived for the Lord. They were living testimonies for our Lord. We may be in life-threatening situations. We may not find a way out. The world may be ready to devour us. But remember, as a large sheep, we will be victorious in the end. The God of Joseph, Moses and David is our God too. The gospel, the good news will be known to others through our victory. Stay blessed. Amen.